for instance, we've that the predominant winds come from the east, and with a speed of 34 plus kilometers per hour. Data which of course, give us a clearer notion of the wind currents in this region. Although partially, since winds in this particular region, during hurricane seasons, could reach speeds over 300 kilometers per hour. And once in this window, we may now enter the adequate information, such as the predominant wind direction. And of course, the corresponding speed. In this instance, 10 meters per second. So, and with this information, we might perform a first wind load analysis. Of course, for the typical wind conditions in the area. Namely, that we'll have to perform a second analysis, which considers the most difficult wind conditions.